This is a comparison between loop detection and spanning tree. And I personally think the drawback to loop detection is that once you enable loop detection on a VLAN, all the ports participate in loop detection. You cannot have a port that's part of that VLAN not participate in loop detection. So what happens here is, for example, if you have loop detection on a VLAN and this port it's part of that VLAN. What's going to happen, it's going to send these loop detection packets down. And if you have a loop down here on the C12, what's going to happen is that packet's going to loop back on itself, go out this port, come back to the MDF, and the MDF is going to think there's a loop. At that point, it's going to block this port. And if it blocks that port, all the switches downstream would also get blocked. So the benefit to spanning tree is that you're able to enable spanning tree globally, but at the same time disable certain ports from participating in spanning tree. All right. So the reason you would do that is some in some cases you have fiber connecting switches which is are which is old or poor quality, which can make your spanning tree domain very unstable because now you have switches coming online and offline, and then there's a reconvergence happening with spanning tree. So the inner chassis links, and to prevent that from happening, I disable spanning tree in the inner chassis links here. So what happens is this spanning tree domain is separate from this spanning tree domain, okay? And this one has no visibility to any, any of these other spanning tree domains. Since spanning tree is enabled globally, it will catch this loop, this loop, and this loop. What's happening here is there might be a chance that someone connects two switches together and causes a loop here. And since spanning tree is not enabled in this ICL, there's no way for the switches to know that there's actually a loop. So what I enabled, enabled on all the edge ports is BPD UGART. With BPD UGART, it will catch a loop like this one here. My PC is 2.254 and I'm pinging 2.20. All right, it's pinging 2.20. Look quickly at the configurations for the MDF. And remember, the MDF has spanning tree disabled in port one, which is basically the downlink to the IDF. And I have BPDU guard enabled on all the other ports. Okay, the only port here that's forwarding state is the PC. Everything else is disabled from a spanning tree perspective. Here's the uplink, it's in forwarding state. And again, this is the PC. And if we look over here, this switch, the root bridge is C20, and the bridge's ID address is C20. So it sees itself as a root. Let me switch over to the IDF. has everything disabled for spanning tree, mainly because the two, the uplink and the downlink have spanning tree disabled. And then again, the root bridge is itself. It doesn't see any of the other switches since we have spanning tree disabled on the ICLs. And the ICLs again are port one and port two. These ports right here. Here are the configs. Sparing tree disabled on the two uplink and downlink ports. And uh, STP BBU guard is enabled on all the other ports. So let me switch over really quickly to the C12. The C12 only has one port in forwarding state, that's the PC. And the uplink port has spanning tree disabled. Spanning tree disabled right here. BPD guard is enabled on all the other ports. Here we 
go PC and the uplink port. All right, so let me check on, so I'm sending a ping between the PC here at the bottom and the PC up here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna introduce some loops and I'm gonna first loop the C12, seven and eight. Loop it back on itself. Pings are still going through. CPU is at 1%. Seven and eight are in this disable error disable state. All right, let me go to the idea. And again, I'm going to loop this port seven and port eight together. CPU is at 1%. Port 7 and port 8 are in error disabled state. All right, so basically these are in error disable. Earlier, I looped these and these went into error disable. So now I'm going to move to the IDF. And you can tell here that the, the pings are still going through. So at the MDF, Plug in the loop. All right, pings are still going through. CPU is at 1%. Error disabled for port 7 and port 8. So the last loop I'm going to introduce is port 11 on both the IDF and the C12. So let me move over my console so you can see the messages on the IDF. Let me connect port 11. All right, disabled. You can see that here, right? Port 11 went into error disable state. This is 7, 8, which is looping back on itself. And we basically prevented all these loops from the network from affecting the pings going from PC to that 254 to 2.20.